Hey, what's going on? It's Richard here with The Farm Life. I just want to welcome you back to the channel and thank you for watching. Um, on today's episode, we got some exciting news. If you've watched my videos in the past, you've known that we've been waiting a really long time to get a barn installed. Uh, we ordered this thing uh, back in probably August and it came, that's a couple months now, it came back in back in about May so we waited a really long time for it but it's finally here it's finally installed and we're really excited about it so I'm just gonna flip the camera around here and show you the new barn so let's check it out all right everybody there she is uh, we've waited a really long time for this thing like I said and we're really excited to finally have it installed if you remember in one of the last videos that we in put up we were tearing down the old barn which front of the old barn went about right there and went to the side of this white door so it was a lot smaller than what we have now so we'll be able to do a lot more with this building now that it's installed we're going to be able to handle quite a few more does and kit out a lot more does in this thing than we were able to before this is a, a 36 foot wide by 30 foot deep carport barn uh, we ended up going with two roll-up doors straight through I'll show you those in a minute and then we put man doors in the sides and a few windows around the outside so let's head on inside and check it out here we go all right we're now inside let's go check it out don't judge me for the mess we're in the kind of the construction phase here uh, we ended up getting a bunch of hay the other day uh, these ones were kind of wet on the stack, so we had to spread them out, so they're kind of taking up some space. But once they're dried up, we'll put them over there in the pile. But other than that, um, we just got hay everywhere. We're getting it put away for the winter in our neck of the woods here. It's a pretty bad drought this year, just like everywhere else, I'm sure. So there's not going to be a lot of hay around. It's getting harder and harder to find. So we're getting it put up and stored before winter hits. But let's check out the barn. Um, like I told you before, we ended up going a man door on each side. Um, on this side of the barn, we're going to end up doing like a barn office type deal. We'll probably wall off this area and then install a mini fridge or something in here so we can keep vaccines and everything and we'll also just keep our other supplies in there like heating supplies heat lamps all that good stuff that uh, we didn't have room to store before so we're going to be able to keep that in this area and we'll just be able to access that right through that man door on the opposite end we had another man door installed this will probably be where the goats access in and out so we'll probably just have this thing open for the goats and they'll be able to access this from the pasture so they'll just be able to come right from there and right inside the barn once it's all set up uh, we were going to use the second roll-up door for access but we got the hay pushed tight right against it so we can get as much in there as we can so that'll probably stay closed pretty much most of the time to keep that hay out of the weather so they'll just be able to access the barn from this man door so the plan here is like I said to have the barn office there I'm hoping we can keep the tractor inside the barn for the most part but we'll probably run out of room eventually and then we're just gonna keep hay stored on this side and then we're gonna put in some kidding pins all along that outside over there and also this side so that's gonna open up a lot more possibilities for us in our old barn we were only able to have about five or six kidding pins I figure in this one we're going to be able to have about 10 or 12 kidding pins plus all of this room down the middle to store hay and feed and all that good stuff so the plan is to make some custom panels that will fit in between the upright rails front to back and then we'll just weld some pins on the rails or some uh, some things for the pins to slide down in so we'll just be able to put portable panels up pin them at each end and make all of these 
our kidding pens will end up being probably about five feet wide by ten feet long and we'll be able to just take those down if we need to to clean out the areas or do whatever we got to do so that's what we're gonna end up doing over there is kidding pens kidding pens and then barn office up front so uh we got no lights or anything up in here yet we got the power ran out here from the existing barn i just got it covered up because it was kind of out in the weather until this new building got installed so the panels here i just got to run all of the lighting and all the outlets for everything uh, my plan is to put in the kidding pens we're going to put the outlets up high so the does can't get to them and then we'll hang the heat lamps and then out here on the front posts for every kidding pen i'm going to make it so the back outlets are switched so we can just turn the heat lamps off from that front of the kidding pens here and we don't have to go in side and unplug them or anything we'll just be able to turn them off right here and it'll make it really handy if we need to shut those heat lamps off in the morning or do whatever we got to do and then we're probably going to go three or four lights down the middle and then each side so it'll give us some really good light in here so i just gotta get going on that um, now that we got hay put up, that'll probably be our next next project is getting the power put up. We got a month or so before we put the buck in with the does, but before long we'll be kidding again, so we need to get this thing ready to go. Uh, again, this is 36 feet wide by 30 feet deep. So windows all around, two 10 foot roll up doors, so we can pull straight through if we need to and we also got the windows um, these windows are pretty handy to have because they have screens in them and they just uh, every single window can just slide up for ventilation to help keep it cooled down the best we can in here we might install a couple fans or something up in the ceilings too just to kind of pull the cool air through to keep it keep it cooled down in here but I just wanted to show you guys that barn like I said we've been waiting a long time and it's here and this is gonna help us expand our operation quite a bit so I just wanted to show that to you guys maybe if you have something else in your barn that could help us out in this one maybe give me some suggestions down low and we'll try it out so just wanted to share that with you and until the next one, thanks for watching.